So Lisa, you are one of um, only a handful of female CEOs in this $400 billion industry. And of course, we always hear how in general, there's a lack of diversity in technology companies in the higher ranks or on the board. But in the semiconductor industry, I mean, it seems to be worse than technology as a whole. You think that there's anything endemic in our industry that has um, not allowed very many women to get into that um, position? Well, you know, there's no question, uh, Jody, that we have to do more. Uh, you know, there should be more women in executive positions. There should be more, um, you know, diversity overall. Um, I do think, though, that, um, you know, we're making some progress, but, you know, certainly there's an opportunity to do more. And, you know, I view, you know, semiconductors and engineering as one of those professions that's wonderful because, you know, at the end of the day, we build things and, um, you know, you see the, you know, the outcome, you know, of your work. And, you know, that's something that is very non-gender specific, right? You know, great products are, are good for the industry and, and we want to make sure that we have the most talented people um, who are, are working in our industry. So do you think that there is anything specifically that the GSA can do to help highlight this issue? I really do think um, we can help. Um, you know, this is a very important topic um, in the semiconductor industry. I think our member companies are really interested in it. And, you know, you and I have been talking about some ideas about, um, you know, kicking off this uh, women's leadership initiative. And I think we can do a lot with that, you know, over the next couple of years. You know, really bringing women together and um, helping with, you know, networking and mentoring and these types of things so that we get the visibility and the focus um, on this important issue.